Today we're gonna to be talking about a water knot. What's up guys, Dan here, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. So today we're gonna go over a very simple knot. And actually, a little fun fact, this was the first knot that I learned that I actually knew the name and I knew the specific reason for tying it. And that goes way back to my rock climbing days. Now I was never like a, a big time rock climber, right? <laughs> I used to go to this rock climbing gym when I was like 15 to 17 years old. And while I was at the gym, one of the owners taught me this knot and it just always stuck with me. It was like, oh, that first knot. The knot itself really has nothing to do with water. I mean, maybe it does, that's why it's called the water knot, but the point is that it has a lot of carryover to the bushcraft outdoor world. So if you're around the outdoors long enough, at some point you're gonna be utilizing probably some webbing, and tying webbing together can be a little bit of a hassle. So depending on the webbing that you're going to be using, it might be very slick. So when you tie a knot in it, some of the knots will actually pull apart, even if you think it's super tight. Number two, it's flat, okay? It's not round like rope, so it has to bind up differently on itself. So for bushcraft and survival purposes, when we think about this, maybe you are doing some climbing, maybe you're doing some rigging for a boat or a canoe, maybe you're making loops to hang up in trees to hoist game up in, so lots of different things. So uh, let's get to the knot, because it's really easy. So I think everybody knows how to tie an overhand knot. You make a loop and you take the cut end and stick it in the loop and give it a little pull. That is literally the beginning of this knot. It's that simple, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our second end and we're gonna connect the ends like this and we are just going to trace the knot back. So this is going to slide along the knot like this and then just follow it along the first knot you tied. So it's gonna wrap around and then it's going to come back through just like this. So you see the two knots are identical, but the ends are out opposite sides. Now you're just gonna dress this really neatly, and you, my friends, have tied your first water knot. Pretty cool stuff. This thing is super strong. That is not coming out with any pressure you put on it. So there you go, that is a water knot, a great knot to know when it comes to using any type of webbing. Again, flat, slippery webbing. This thing is gonna hold and you are gonna be a happy camper. So another tool for the toolbox, another cool video from Coal Cracker. I feel good about it, you probably feel good about it, and if you feel really good, click the subscribe link below. Also hit that like, what is it, button? Like button, the like button, and check us out over at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. We have a blog, we have classes, we have all kind of cool gear, all that good stuff and we're on all types of social media. Just type in Coal Cracker and cool stuff will come up. So thanks for joining me for this video. As always, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com and until the next video, stay in the woods.